<laughs> oh, pain. Um, nobody said trash, but I suppose trash is in the house. It's no house. I'm always excited you got my back like that, dude. Thanks. Ah.
and that's it it's uh 8 p.m eight o'clock nighttime sunday eastern time i'm in montreal personally i don't know where you're at but wherever you are thanks for checking it out uh i know my roommate is in, in the chat right now meaning that she is also in montreal at the same time as me not only is she in the chat room slash channel but she is also in the same apartment so if she decided to burst into this room and put a cap on my knee or in my knee that would be more appropriate if she decided to fucking kill me you could probably see it live but uh, that's not gonna happen she is a very uh mild lovely person uh who invited me to her parents home today to celebrate i know it's very meta <laughs> to um i'm gonna take a little moment and celebrate my uh my death day my death day is uh you know my birthday but you know I, i've always found it a little bit ridiculous that people celebrate something that marks uh your inevitable uh unexistence from this reality and uh you know wild that they were all like every fucking year it's like hey in case you forgot motherfucker time's up bitch so we're gonna be doing that uh that was it was really really nice though um really nice hang out with her family i really really love her parents and you know they're just uh they're great to, to to hang around with and they're so generous with uh with everything honestly um you know do you mean went as far as uh uh yes abby that is exactly what meta means which is hilarious you know how to use it in context but you don't actually know what it means <laughs> I do the same thing, really. I understand a lot of things within context, but uh, the specific meanings, I don't get them all. But uh, anyway, so yeah, um, so I'm really, it was a nice, nice little quaint day, and uh, so I have uh, my my best friend Abby to thank uh, thank for that. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's really up my alley that type of thing. It was like not a lot of people, and just you know, get to hang out a bit and just get a couple of luck. Uh, uh, my folks are okay. Abby says, "Fucking fuck you." Okay, they're gonna leave you fucking land behind and shit. Like you got a you got inheritance and shit. Yeah, they're okay. Um, <laughs> I mean, I know that that's not what makes an entire uh, family dynamic uh, worth uh, uh, family uh, family dynamic, but uh, you know, it doesn't it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. Um, yeah. So uh, tonight, um, so if you're somebody who's come to my channel uh, before this, uh, you might have noticed that the schedule has changed. I was thinking about changing it, and I just, bam, just like that, I changed it last night. Um, so uh, Tetris ninety nine is gonna get, uh, is getting one less day. Uh, f so I'm just gonna be doing Tetris ninety nine on Thursdays and Fridays, eight p.m. Eastern time. Um, after that, it's going to be my uh, regular Let's Play that I do at, again, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. That's a three-hour thing uh, for battle uh, for the Battle Royale slash uh, Tetris 99. That's going to be an hour and a half on Thursdays and Fridays. And on Sundays, such as today, um, I'm just going to be, like, uh, hanging out, doing a little bit of a chat thing and, like, just doing things in the background or whatever. So, so anybody shows up and they want to talk and, you know, so good so i'm just gonna honestly i'm just gonna be sitting here doing my own thing and it is what it is so anybody shows up they want to talk some shit no problem i'm here and yeah that's it i'm just gonna do me i'm, I'm gonna play a little bit of tetris 99 but this is like of the like you know like this is a, a rogue uh thing i'm just gonna play a couple of matches this is just for me nothing this has nothing to do with my regular streams of uh, tetris 99 um and off the top, you know, uh, off the top, I have already been speaking for a couple minutes. Uh, hey, a couple minutes, actually, quite a few, uh, quite a few minutes. So I'm Fernando, a formula of the ladder. You are gonna see the name right here at the bottom, with my face and all the stuff. Uh, at the bottom, you can see things that I'm interested in. If that can help you, like come up with, uh, I don't know, maybe you're just in looking and you don't know what to talk about. Well, there's shit at the bottom that you can bring up to talk about that I'm into and then maybe you're into and then you know we can have a, a fun conversation obviously it's I am not as reductive as a list of a few things that I'm into I am more than that like most of us are except people who are extremely fucking boring which I am not hopefully oh god am I no I'm not anyways so yeah that, that that's it so I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna sit back. I'm gonna try to relax for the next uh, hour and a half, 
it's an hour and a half about anyways an hour and a half maybe a little bit more depending on how i'm feeling and besides that you know whatever i'm just hanging out and that's it no pressure um i'm just uh by the way just like uh, would like to introduce a uh, few of the characters that come into every stream that i do the guy in the back that's jorge the priest this is gustavo the mask i am fernando and in this background like every stream that i do um there is a fourth character his name is gunther uh if you need to know what gunther looks like he looks like this it looks like my fucking forearm and my hand and uh he's a hundred percent surely and most definitely in the background right now you spot him let me know take a screenshot let me know share that with me it's just for fun it's just a silly fucking little game that i do with myself and that's it that's it <laughs> that's it now i'm just gonna go ahead and have a little bit of uh tetris uh fun just for me no pressure no nothing after that we're gonna do some other games i got uh, other things that i'd like to do but you know just i'm uh, just chilling 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 so let's go for that game I mean, technically, you're going to be, for the most part, going to be looking at my my dumb old face over here. Um, well, I'm, I'm glad, that, Abby, that uh, you you get to chill. Uh, you know, you're sitting back, enjoying your time. And uh, again, really, like, for real, like, thanks. Uh, it was nice today. I appreciate it. Um, you know, over the years, I, I've stopped caring about, like, big fan. Like, I never really cared for big things uh, when it came to my birthday. But now it's like even less than i used to like now it's just like i just want to see people that I actually like have a couple of laughs and uh, then just go home and be at peace i mean you can't really ask for more than that at least for me that's just yeah so oh yikes <laughs> so i'm playing tetris right but i'm not playing tetris through mm, i'm like lagging a lot because i'm actually mm, i might regret this I feel like I'm going to regret this. This is not going to last long, guys. This is really not going to last long. So I am playing not how I usually play. So like my what uh, my video capture, this is like actually what you're seeing right now. It's my straight up video capture. And there's a, a big old lag on that. So like the speed is not the same as to what I'm used to. Like it's really slow right now. And I don't know how how I'm going how how long I'm, I'll be able to last like this, especially if the game speeds up and shit. Like, what am I gonna do? I don't know. So we're about to find out how I am going to do. But uh, ooh, I am not very hopeful. Oh no! Now this can be very difficult. Hmm. Difficult, but in definitely interesting. Like the game is like it's going so slow i'm like i literally have to like force myself to be super slow it's an interesting dynamic though hmm. Oh, and there it is. The thing that I thought was going to happen happened. That like got me. Mm -mm. Well, I guess we are not going to be playing Tetris. New no, senor. Way too slow for me. 
so gonna close that we're gonna do i had another game already anyway so i was just curious to see how the good uh, the game car was uh, the game catcher um thing was gonna like catch the game but it's like way too slow so it's like almost unbearable so no gracias Uh, so to answer your question, Abby, uh, so like right now what I'm doing is just like chat mode by, and by that I mean it's like it's really me doing so it like the focus is on me instead of the game for once and like the game is a little bit in the background and I'm just like, you know, it's about me. It, you know, this is my least favorite thing, but whatever, you know, I'm trying to sell, uh, sell the, the allure of me as an entertaining person at all. Yeah, 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 tough crowd, honey. I get it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jesus, no, it's fine. It's, it's just fine. You're fine. I'm fine. We're all fine. Okay, so uh, that's what it is. Oh, did you? Do you think you found Gunther? Okay, okay. Well, uh, you can send me a screenshot, and uh, we'll verify whether you found it or not. It would be really cool to get a third person that's actually found Gunther in the background because we, so Flora obviously uh has fun she found it one time and then I've, I've had my friend matt find it three times so far so it would be great forgive me sorry it would it would be good send me a send me a screenshot uh, okay so we're gonna play we're playing a little bit of uh this game i really like this game this game is called uh dwarf romantique right right Just, yeah dwarf romantique and uh oh you sent me that screenshot let's check it out let's see what's up let's see if that muchacho found something <laughs> nope it is not there now here's a funny thing abby dear friend dear best friend um when we got home after hanging out with your parents that's where it was and then i moved it so I'm curious as to why you would have guessed why you would have guessed that spot. So, yep. <laughs> I know. I, I know. It's supposed to be hard. Like, it's a, it's supposed to be difficult. That's kind of the, the the part of the the game. Yeah, but yeah, it's not there. You're confused. Uh, it's, so. When we came back from home, uh, from your parents, oh, home, um, the, literally the the spot that you that the spot that you sent me on the screenshot, it was there. So technically, you would have gotten it right. You would have had I not moved it before starting my stream, which isn't. It's really fucking crazy, really crazy. <laughs> Yeah, I know. That's what we want. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, well, Abby, it's definitely in here. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> I gave I literally I just gave you hints, so. I can't help you more than that, otherwise I'd just literally be telling you where it is. And what the fuck's the point of that? It's not the game. Uh, 
I suppose that's what it is. Vamos, vamos. Mm. Uh, all right, fine, whatever. What are we going to do? That's what that is. Uh, let's go over here. Bim, bim, bim. With a bonus. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> here, I, I'm gonna give you like a minute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this like full, full. Wait, can I do that? Or how do I do that? Wait. Um. Hmm. Wait. Maybe. Would this work? What does that do? No, that doesn't fucking help. It really doesn't help. <laughs> I got. I mean, I know where I put it, but I also like see it. <laughs> Definitely see it. Boom, boom, boom. Not gonna lie, I'm a little fatigued, which is uh, Spanish for tired. But it was a good day. Really, really happy that um, things turned out the way they did. Mm. Sometimes I feel like a shithead because it feels like I forget with the type of people that I have in my life. And it's like, come on, man. You are good people in your life. Stop being a shithead. I don't know. Life, bruh. Life. Mm. Oh no, you give up? Okay, well... <laughs> I'll, I'll, uh, so I'm sorry you gave up, but I, I will send you, I'm gonna send you, uh, see if I can do that way. Uh, okay, that's, that's, no, that's me, over here, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm gonna send you, uh, I'm gonna send you the answer since you gave up, but I'll give you the answer. <laughs> Thanks for trying though, I appreciate it. It's nice of you. <laughs> to be honest, it's not an easy one. It's not an easy one. So <laughs> I gotta I got a little sneaky with it. You might actually get mad at me, I think. <laughs> Sorry. Bit of a Bit of a sneeze, sneeze fest. Oh, well, so I um I started watching. <laughs> it's a pretty good spot, huh? 
Um, yeah, I know it's impossible to see, but like, my my mind goes to like, okay, so like, if it's impossible to see, then just take a guess because if if you don't know, then like, you know, you took a while to guess, and it was a great guess because. Technically, empirically, had I not changed it, had I not moved the fucking dildo, you would have found it. I guessing tonight you would have done that. But you know, that's just you know that I saw it's uh, sometimes it's super easy, sometimes it's very difficult, and uh, you know that's uh, you know as the probability of uh, finding Gunther at all. So does that make me an asshole? Am I uh, drunk on my own power about dildo hiding? <laughs> yeah, I am drunk on that kind of power. I guess you're not going to go there. You're going to go over here. <sighs> Fucking hell, I'm tired. It's funny. I wonder what we're going to do. Uh, we're gonna, uh, I'm going to stream a little bit, hang out, and then just uh, call it. <laughs> uh, I imagine the uh, where you were trying to write was roosters, not roasters. That's a great restaurant in Montreal. It's a chain, uh, not reputable or anything, but I enjoy it. Uh, yeah, roosters. There's definitely roosters. Um, I think. Well, I mean, like the idea is like it's a little. This game has like little way. Uh, it's like this. It's like little ass towns and shit like that. And like you can hear dogs and, and roosters and stuff like that. So yeah, you, you're not imagining those sounds. Like behind the music that you're listening to right now, there are dogs and sometimes a rooster. You're not crazy. You're not imagining. Well, you are crazy, but you're not imagining that. That is fact. Yeah. Hmm. All right. That's what I Why not? I'm okay with that. Fernando, what a wonderful fella. We're here. Fernando, this is boring, but fuck you. My life. Is my life boring? Sometimes. Will I live? Yes. Will you? Yes. Just go elsewhere. I don't want to what else to tell you like you know it's like yeah this is just fine as I'm just chilling brother chilling hmm I had I had um keto ice cream tonight now the question if the question is like do you trust it and the answer is no did you eat it? Uh, the answer is yes. I, yes, I did. Was it delicious? It fucking, it fucking was pretty great. <laughs> it was really, really good. Um, I just hope uh, I don't uh, ruin the ketosis because I actually like this morning I checked my uh, ketone ketone levels in my in my system and they were doing pretty well. So that would be a bit of a shame if uh, if I ruin it, but you know. 
at some point I gotta live my life, right? You know, it's my birthday. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 that's a stupid move. Thank God for the undo button. That was a dumbass move. Why would I do that? Jesus. Are you fucking stupid? Yes, yes, I am. Sometimes I am stupid. Well, you didn't have to, you didn't have to tell me if I can believe you. I saw it by myself. Alright, I guess I'll have to go there. Like so. Good. That's a good move. Oh, right. Well, should I close it here? Yeah, I'm gonna close it here. So one over here. We got a one here. No three. Okay. I guess that's not gonna happen. All right, fucking fine. You're also not gonna happen, you stoop, fucking motherfucker. Nope, that's a stupid move. Where are we? How about you? All right, good, good. Oh shit, I'm beginning to understand certain moves in this game now. It only took about a year and a half, but now I got, I got some extra information. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so slow. Yo soy, yo soy mucho slow. That's French for je suis slow. What the fuck is this? Ugh, fucking Instagram and the random ass follows. Some bullshit, man. It's like, who the fuck are you, brother? Fernando. Wait, I don't actually give a shit about this person's story, so I'm just gonna go ahead and mute that. Next. Fucking next, muchacho. Hmm. Anyway. What's I doing? Alright. Cool. I often ask myself, what the fuck was I doing? Is that a good thing? Eh, I don't know. Depends who you ask. Sometimes I feel like uh, I've lost touch for reality, but you know, uh, what is reality? Sometimes I feel like it's uh, more of a construct than anything. So that's my life. <laughs> that's where I'm at. Two, two houses right here. Boom. Fair enough. Nope. No bueno. It's a forest over there. This is one. Well, we're going to go right here. We're going to go right here. Vamos. Now we're gonna go do like this. No. Yeah, look at that. Do I know what I'm doing? I absolutely not. Why would I fucking know what the fuck I'm doing? That would almost require me planning things, and I don't do that. Yo no planeo. Because I'm not a plane. That's 
It's almost it's it's a, it's a pun, but it's stupid. God, I can't believe I just went for it in Spanish. Wow, brave, brave does not begin to cover my bravery. <laughs> I don't want to do that move. Hmm. Well, I guess I. Uh, 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 uh. Go that way. Oh. Sorry, I'm gonna go that way. Yeah. No. See. See. So I don't know. We're gonna go over here. I like that. That's way better. Way, way better. It's better. Good for now. Why don't you tell us what you're doing? Uh, how about you fucking buy the game and you tell yourself what you're doing? Like, why do I have to do it for you? Jesus. It's not a fucking tutorial. That's not what this is. This is just me chilling, playing a game you don't know. Fernando, what's, what's up with the attitude? I have one. What do you want me to do? Get a fix? You want me to fix my attitude? Years. Years of unfixed. I won't, I shan't, Monsieur. Hmm. Yep, we're gonna go to that. Um, uh, should, yes, 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 yes. Because I, I guess I'll do the undo, so maybe I can like get out, but I don't feel like I have to per se, so no. Yeah, uh, let's go this way. Brebois. Uh, bonjour, Brebois. Oh, uh, peace. I, uh. Qui, qui suis je? Je dis bonjour in French and uh, in Spanish. Hola. Me llamo Fernando. Welcome to uh, the, the puzzle show, which is the puzzle normally just now. <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. Uh, I do the uh, I do the Spanish, I do the uh, the uh, the French, uh, and I do the the English. So uh, you know, welcome, welcome. Welcome, and welcome. I'm so I'm so hospitable. I'm mean, just like, hey, welcome. I'm like, oh. Should have uh, uh, man. I feel like sometimes I should have maybe like worked in uh, like. Uh, and at a hotel or some shit, I would have been like, welcome, and you know, use my my uh, my chill humor. <laughs> Greetings from uh, Germany, Germany. Uh, speaking the Deutsch. Uh, 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 I don't know. Uh, what's up, Fraulein or um, shit, Wasserfiken? Oh no, Wasserfik or I don't know. I mean, I tried learning German. I actually really, uh, I like German. Um, and I wish, and I say I wish, but I mean, like, technically, like, if I actually wanted to learn, I took the time and I wasn't a lazy piece of shit. Obviously, I could enjoy uh, learning uh, German. I did, you know, I did, like, a couple of, like, Duolingo uh, sets or whatever, and uh, Ger German is, like, super interesting. Matter of fact, um, uh, my, my girlfriend, she used to, well, I mean, like, she... Technically, she says she doesn't anymore, but like I'm pretty sure if she really, really tried, like she could speak German because she like took, uh, she um, studied German for a while, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. It's one of my favorite things, especially like uh, you know if you're angry and yelling, it's amazing. I love it. 
I know it's fucked up to say, but you know. <laughs> All right, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Mm. Not klar, a species is a Deutsch. The question is, if we burn for the stuvas is schrieb. I don't know. I tried. I fucking tried. Well, Abby, I don't know what the point that you're trying to make right now is, but uh, <laughs> if it's that, um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't often get this opportunity to make this type of like co um, comparison, but um, originally, originally, my people didn't really speak Spanish. <laughs> so, <laughs> it happens. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Fucking, we're all broken toys. That's all that we are. Oh man. That music is cute. I like it. <laughs> no, Abby, I don't think I don't think so. Uh, personally, I didn't do anything. I, I was just being my charming ass self. If you kicked, if, if you like made somebody feel uncomfortable and they left, Abby, that's on you. And I will blame you and I will hold you to it. And after the stream, I'll get out of my room, go knock on your door because we're roommates. And I'll be like, hey, dude, what's up? <laughs> It is 8.37 p.m. No, no, no. That's uh, Eastern time. Eight. Wait, so wait, wait. Uh, so that means in Germany it would be... And I, yes, I count in Spanish. 9, 10, 11, 12, 1... It's 2.30 in the morning? 2.40 in the morning? What are you doing awake? <laughs> Jesus, it's really, really late. Yeah. <laughs> That's really really late. Um, hmm. S speaking of being very really late, I uh, hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, it's funny because I was remembering like the, just today we were like talking about like Wouldn't it be fucking crazy to go back in time and be our young selves But with the brains that we have as older adults now and like if I went back to my well I never went to university because I didn't have the capacitors or the patience or the money or the anything that m Made me want to go to fucking university uh, But man, I would have like had a wildly different life. Very wildly different life. But uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, but, but my, one of my, like my favorite times, honestly, are like when I was back in high school and I, I just stayed up super late playing video games. Which is quite ironic because I'm here right now. <laughs> As an adult, I'm a 30, well, I'm almost a 39, a 39 year old boy playing video games. That's, <laughs> I am old. Hey, and thank you. I, I like you know. I am lucky that um, for some reason my parent parents' genetics managed uh, for me. Well, also like you know, there's the fact that I, I like to eat. I'm I'm a plump boy, so uh, that uh, helps uh, hide the age. But uh, yeah, no, I mean, uh, woo, <laughs> we're up there. Holy shit. What is that? In Germany it exists a client lease on the call buff or buff fog the Bonzenbildung for during guests. Hey, I tried. <laughs> Holy shit, that is a fucking mouth. That is a lot of that's a lot of letters. 
and you know like maybe like you're joking and I'm, I'm i'm not even sure because but i know like specifically there's like a lot of uh i feel like there's a lot of german words that are like really long just really really long and like like phonetically like they sound okay but like when you write it down it's just like a fucking foot that's fucking nuts Wow, that is really fucking good. That is really, really good. Like, I mean, like in terms of like the things that uh, like, well, I didn't really, uh, I did a trade school. So like my, the price that I paid for my schooling uh, for graphic design, that's, that's what I do in real life. It was just like a bit of a, it, it was kind of steep, but I feel like it was probably like around that. Like it was probably like, uh, I was stupid. And I took an extra class that added so much to my student debt, but I, I started with like, a, I think it was 15,000 just for the graphic design thing and then like the rest was this other fucking class and whatever uh but yeah no that ten, just having to pay the well i mean ten thousand euros is a lot of money if we compare it to canadian money anyways whatever but you know it's not that bad and like as long as you get through your studies you know because yeah it's pretty good yeah yeah uh, <laughs> the, so fuck that buffo the buffog thing is actually like an entire <laughs> the bundes building dungs for the you know that almost sounds like uh the uh the loan that the governing gives you for the studying of your studies thing <laughs> you know what i mean like <laughs> language is great i love languages it's just the funnest shit shut up it is oh man it's like hey i want to i want to start i want to have a vacation i want to learn mexican and then you go to mexico like i mean like obviously you have your whatever but like you, you can get the fucking government to pay some of it what am I doing here? Why do I don't understand why my parents moved to fucking Canada? First of all, to personally, I've always been interested in the European chicks and somehow we ended up in fucking North North America. My dad's like, hey, you like winter? You wanna suck you wanna suck all the fucking winter dicks? Uh, and here we are. Like, listen, I understand that there's also winter in Europe. I'm not fucking stupid, but <laughs> I am stupid, but I'm not about the winter things, but I'm just saying like, if you're gonna be suffering through winter, you might as well have something to look at, you know what I mean? Thank God, Montreal, pretty good uh, for the for that. Although at the end of the day, uh, I do find myself with a girlfriend in Europe. So, I mean, I guess at the end of the day, dad, you fucked up, you should have moved to Europe. Specifically, uh, somewhere around, my, my, Maybe not specifically France, but like some maybe maybe England, Dad. Like maybe England, Spain. I would have probably enjoyed the Germany thing. Uh, but anyways, yeah, too late. Too little, too late. Thanks, Dad. She called my dad, and say uh, thanks, or I don't know. Thank him for life. It's my birthday. Uh, anyways, he's probably gonna call me Wednesday to 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 wish me happy birthday anyway. Oh, that's actually, that's cool. That's also really cool. But, but like, so like, because like, like I say it's cool, but like, you know, uh, in retrospect, like looking back at my own life, like let's say like I had some, so, so like when I, I did my, my trade school and I got through it, I, you know, I 
managed to get a really really great job right away in graphic design and like since then like I, i've had different jobs in graphic design so i managed to like keep that up but like i had some periods of my life that were kind of like difficult where i really like you know there will be times where i wouldn't um no, I always had food. Like I never like went without. Uh, I, I never went without food. But like, you know, uh, this week is gonna suck a little bit because I prefer to whatever money that I did make when I was th going through a very difficult time after school. I would put that money into my loan, my loan payment. So like, trying to get 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 through that. Um, so but you know, so like there were some times in my life where I just didn't have enough. So it would have been kind of cool to maybe get like a, a forgiveness on that so i like that like you know if you can't make uh, you know not having to pay back this this big amount is like, so at the end of the day like here's what it is like you invest you as a, as a citizen of a country or whatever of a society you contribute to it and it makes sense that you know the gov the the the, bo the body of government that governs that society also returns to you like you know like it, it's it's all like a it's a self-investment like you know they want you to do good so you are a successful member of that society so it's like it just like it makes sense like i don't even fucking understand why we don't do more shit like that but whatever <laughs> oh cultural differences <laughs> The I would say that um, so what the fuck was I doing? Uh, me, I'm. It's gonna be my birthday on on Wednesday. I'm turning thirty nine. So yeah. Um, what am I doing these days? What What do you mean like uh, like this week? I don't know. I don't have a lot of plans. What are your plans? Or you mean like if I'm still doing graphic design, or if I am like now like doing underground boxing matches and i just don't tell people about it because that, that could be an option i could do shit like that why not oh well first of all i don't like getting punched in the face so i guess that that's a good that that would be a good reason oh really okay uh the living expenses um i I don't, I don't, I don't know. It depends, like, it, it really, like, yes, they're very high. Like, apartments right now, renting is kind of bullshit. Um, but there's still, there's still places. You can still find good deals and stuff like that. Uh, but that, I'm really, like, talking about, like, Montreal, uh, Quebec, in Canada. But I know, like, um, like, the uh, big, my bigger cities, like, Montreal is pretty big. Oh, Jesus. Oh, shit. Thanks for that follow. I got scared because <laughs> I don't get I don't get a lot of follows <laughs> So I set up my 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 little alerts or whatever and I know that I, I did that and I know that at some point I'll hear it but I was not expecting it so I <laughs> I just heard the sounds and I'm like oh Jesus <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I am going to stream on my birthday um I guess but uh <laughs> Oh, oh, really? 40%? That's... That's a lot, right? Like... Abby, do you do you have, like, an idea of, like, how much we pay? Like, if you had to guess, like, it's not 40%. It can't be 40%. That's a lot. Oh, yeah? Okay. 30% well that's still for, that's a very high shit man I do look I I just I just work I, and I try my best to like have the money to pay the rent and the bills and the things or whatever but like if and you know what I, I feel like there's a part of me that pro is probably uh, happy that I don't look into those things because it would make me very sad to like figure this shit out I, like <sighs> It's heavy. <laughs> it's fucking heavy when you start like counting money. I was like, yeah, this is, this is no bueno. That's uh, French for uh, no bono.
So you have an interest to being poor, which is which is interesting because like, like let's say uh, uh, if you're like a, a an artist type, right? So let's say like you you're trying to be like either a stand up or a painter or or a singer, a musician or whatever. So you have an interest in following those those careers because you're gonna be fucking broke. And if they're gonna be giving you money to be broke, what the fuck? Like the math is great. Over here, like we don't get any of that shit. Like you want you want to do something artistic, well, and live at the same time, or you're gonna have your you have to have your nine to five, and you have to have your, you know. So you gotta like kind of like the whole hustling culture shit. And that's where it comes from. Really? Shit. Man, fucking COVID really, fucking COVID really ruined a lot of shit for a lot of people. Like, I mean, like, I, I mean, whatever. Like, I, I didn't like suffer or whatever, but I'm like, like there were some things that I was working towards, like beginning of like, uh, end of 20, uh, 2019. So Jesus, when did the fucking thing start? Was it 20, beginning of 2019 or 2020? No, it was 2020. Right, right, yeah, yeah, right. God, my timelines are fucked up. But anyways, so like, just before we got uh, we got into the lockdowns, like I had been like trying to like get myself to to get the courage to like do stand up again, and then the fucking pandemic hit, and it was just, like fuck off. Thank God I tried it this year, but you know that's like a long time later. It's like so it's like I had like a, I I like I had a little like plan of like like things that I want to say. Okay, next year I'm doing this thing. Like you know I want to do this thing that I give a shit about and bam 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 bam. But <laughs> fucking fucking COVID really really fucked with people, man. You're a classic singer. A uh, classic singer. Oh, so what is what what exactly is a classic singer? Like uh, is that like I don't know like is a classic is there a difference between a classic singer and like uh, an opera singer per se like i don't i don't know like i that's not my world or anything like that so i have like no really you know can you uh, elaborate a little bit on that please <laughs> Whoa, that's fucking, that's so weird. The German word for it is uh, conflict, conflict, the conflict. Oh my God, there's a joke in there, but whatever. Um, okay, oh, sh but that's so weird. So like 10 minute lessons and later 20 minutes, and then you had to have like a, a five meter distance, which, you know, whatever. But the whole thing where it's like the professor, like you can't even look at your teacher, you don't know. But that's, isn't that like counterproductive? Like I feel like whenever I see like an orchestra or whatever, like you always have like the director in front and you're literally looking at them telling you what to do. Like how to like whatever, like conducting, right? <laughs> and then you're like, you can't even look at your teacher. That's so weird. Fuck. And it's great. It's like you know, like uh, I like you know during the pandemic, everybody was like, oh, you know, uh, uh, you got to do remote schooling now and whatever. So like you know, you're always thinking like a classroom or, or whatever. But like, I didn't really think like, oh yeah, there's also like students that do music, uh, singing, and all of these other things. And now, how the fuck did you do that? So that's uh, inter I didn't really think about that. That's fucking weird and interesting too to find out about that. Oh God! Oh man, that's so stupid. Like drive, having having to drive an hour to go to a ten minute or fifteen minute lesson is. I'm sorry. It's, just, it's fucking stupid. That's so stupid.
Yeah, oh, shit. Oh man, that's a, oh. No bueno. That's a French for not good. That's a that's a that's a big change though. Um, well, I'm glad that you like that change. But that, that's actually what, what my question was going to be because, like, um, you know, a, a lot of people a lot of people change their um, their paths during the, the pandemic or because of the pandemic. It's you know it's like usually people who are very unhappy with the things that they were doing, they decided to you know do something that they were more interested in or whatever and. Um, so like, it, it's, it's nice to hear that the change that you made still makes you happy as well. And you find it nice because like, you know, yeah, some people like, you know, they, they work and they do the things because, you know, it, either they feel that that's the thing that they have to do, or it was like a childhood dream, but that's actually not that realistic or whatever, or applicable or, uh, sustainable uh, in our society. And like, you know, like <sighs> so many fucking variables. It's, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, I have no idea what media management would be like, um, I mean, media management tells me, like, I feel it's like, it's like, uh, is it for like a uh, social media and stuff like that? Or, um, because I mean, I, I work in advertising and I know that we have media management, but I've never really spoken to those people. So I don't know what they do, to be honest. Um, and yeah, it's, it might not be creative. Like I understand, like, you know, there's not a, um, Especially like if you're singing and like doing uh, like a very like tangible creative endeavor, if you're not, um, you know, that's not that's create like very very creative and versus like something that's more, uh, you know, nine to five or more uh, tangible within our reality. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Like the jo even the job that I do right now, like I I, I like I work in uh, as a graphic designer, but I'm not like a creative uh, graphic designer. But like I still find my you know, I find ways to uh, be creative within my means and the needs of uh, of the jobs that I'm working on or whatever. But yeah, I mean, it's not always obvious. Okay. Well, I. <laughs> So from, from from what I just read, what I what I feel is like technically at some point if you were you were for my company, we'd probably end up working at some point. You'd be probably sending me some shit like, uh, hey, I need a, <laughs> I need this uh, this uh, ads in this format for uh, for uh, for Facebook or, oh, could you send me the logos for the the we have TV ads and shit like that. That's kind of like the type of uh, types of asks that I get from the project uh, management uh, folk. Oh, cool. How, uh, so I'm guessing that the esports definitely got a boost during the pandemic because it's like everything went online. So like now, you can literally do competitions from any and like you could have before but now it's like you can't even like avoid it like you can do all types of competitions and all types of events now and you can do online like that must be like be very uh i don't know i imagine it would be profitable <laughs> <laughs> that almost uh, that almost uh, that reminds me of um 
it's like um I, I think that college basketball in the United States it's like it's like that that like you don't really like get paid for anything you just you play and you might get picked by like a big old um an actual nba team at some point but like for the most part you're like you're a student at this school and the, yes the school is paid but what you're playing for like what a real player would get paid for you don't get and you just kind of play for free so <laughs> it's like oh this is a great university I, I, i'm gonna be part of the esports team i get paid nothing uh, just i'm just happy to be here <laughs> it's like come on Uh, <laughs> wait, how do you know that? <laughs> oh, okay, it's Abby. That's Abby saying that. That's why she knows that. I was like, whoa, that's a very specific comment. Abby, yes, it really is. That's, that's what it is. That's what it feels like. I mean, that's not what it feels like. That's what it is. Like, I, I feel like uh, in Montreal, like you have like four, four paying spots if you're an English comedian. And those jobs are taken by people that took these jobs like 20 years ago, and they're not never gonna let it go. <laughs> Jesus Christ, okay. So, I know some games, and I know for a fact that I don't know, I don't know, League of Legends, other than a very enjoyable show on, uh, on Netflix. Uh, it looks like a very interesting, complicated game that I could probably suck at so much. But, you know, I decide to suck on other things. Games. Games. Why does everybody have to think dirty, you know? Fucking relax. <laughs> but that that's like a long title. So I want to read. It. I'm gonna. I'm just like I want to. I want to hear myself. I want to hear what that sounds like. Me saying that. Uni the university team, League of Legends, in second university league, the fifth division, prime league, the Amazon University Esports League. <laughs> Just a short, just a short, very short title. <laughs> oh, okay. Easy to learn, hard to master. League of Legends, brought to you by uh, uh, Braybor. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Um, I don't know what else, uh, there, the, something that was easy to learn, hard to master for me because I, I want to make it about me for a second. Um, sorry. <laughs> uh, you know what? You know what? Being funny. Uh, it's not hard to be funny, but it, it really, it really like, you gotta be like, you gotta, uh, you gotta do the things. I'm gonna shut up. Wow. Okay. Well, I just killed my. I. You know what? I'm really happy that I can manage to kill my own vibes. You know, like I got people in the chat. Everybody's like contributing to the shit, and I'm out here trying to kill it and ruin things, which would probably make me very good at ruining things. Does that count? Can I make that count? I feel like I can make that count. <laughs> What? Wait, wait, wait. So, 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 I, uh, okay, well, uh, because I, I don't like ranked games and all that shit. Like, I have like issues, like, kind of following that stuff because I'm, I'm not a very competitive person, although I play Tetris 99 and whatever. That's besides the point. But, what I was going to say, and I already forgot my own point, uh, what was I going to say? Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so you're telling me that your friend to just keep... He well, I want to do the math on that shit, because that's just fucking crazy to me. That sounds like absolute madness. Okay, so you're telling me, thousand games, 
Wait, how do I do that? I am I am bad at math. A thousand games for uh, 40 minutes. Wait, but I'm not doing this right. Wait, wait, how do I? God, just as either somebody do the math for me or I'm going to go to Google. I'm like, hey, man, Google, tell me <laughs> what the fuck. Um, no, that's yeah, no, that's it. Wait, that would be. Yeah. Oh. Um, right back. Wait. How do I do this? I want to. I'm so. Wall dot GG. That's wall dot GG. <laughs> All right, right, uh, blah. You know what the crazy part would be is like if you like it. Raybor, Europe, West, E U W, level four hundred seventy four. Last seen in uh, July eighteenth. What? Oh right, you're in the future. Right. <laughs> That's like July eighteenth. I'm still seventeen. I, I got confused for a second. <laughs> Season 11, you've uh, played 135 days. Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> that's a lot of time. That's a lot of time. Wow. Wow. Wow, just the kilometers that you've walked, I would have died a thousand years ago. Fucking hell. Shit. Uh, I'm out here punching my own microphone. I'm like, so I'm, I'm just like amazed by the hours that you've put into this game. I just punched the shit out of my microphone just like that. I'm like, Rah! who am I? Fernando. And uh, I'm crazy like that. Wah. Madness. So you so you're still doing uh so you're still doing online university because of the cocoa? Uh COVID. Oh, no, sorry, I call it the cocoa. Well, I I know what you I but I know, I know exactly what you mean. Like I have like a ton of hours uh in my uh, Tetris 99 account uh on whatever like so so I play Tetris 99 uh usually and like i've put so much time into this shit but like my results like if you do the math like you're like how many wins i've actually gotten versus the hours that i've played it's like fucking pathetic uh so like i get it like like oh. it's like if you look at the time and you're just like why aren't i better i am trying so hard <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow! So, uh, do you do you know how many people are gonna be in that room with you? I uh, I was like um, we were supposed to go back to the office at some point. Like they were discussing it at the beginning at the beginning of the year. They're like, oh, we're going back to the office. Like, okay, cool. Why? It's unnecessary. Well, at least I mean, for me, it's like I can actually perfectly do my job from home. I don't have to fuck around. I save so much time and, and patience not taking uh you know the the commute, uh, grabbing the, the the subway and and the and a bus and all that shit. I don't have to think about that. But you know I, I, I can do my job from home thankfully. So I'm lucky like that. Um, you know whatever. Uh, you know until I get fired because you know life is life and the uh, the reception is definitely coming. So.
it, oh, so it's like a 80 people. So I'm guessing it's like a like a amphitheater kind of thing, like a big old room, and you're all gonna take your exams there. That's kind of cool. I like it. Like, yeah. You know. Yeah, I feel like sometimes I remember. Like, I feel like maybe not univers university, but I feel like I should have at least gone to college. But I, uh, I, I didn't manage to do that, unfortunately. Not that I didn't try. I actually did try. Ooh, got some points over there. Media law. Media law, like, is that like copyright stuff? Like, uh... Yeah, I guess. Like, knowing about copyrights and, and stuff like that, or... The use of... Media law? Huh. Media law. Yeah, okay. Oh, all right. That that's got a you know, I'm not surprised it's like a that's a hard subject because first of all, boring as fuck to know the law. I mean, uh, personally, as a <laughs> as a lawbreaker myself, <laughs> um, like it's gotta be boring, and it's always changing. Like especially nowadays, like everybody like changes their. It's so easy to change a, uh, just terms of such uh, uh, terms of service or whatever. Like they change all the goddamn time. Like I don't even know where to begin with this kind of shit. Well, I'm sure I'm sure that it being boring doesn't fucking help to remember or learn anything. Like most things, I mean, it's fucked up to to admit or say, but like, uh, you know, that's how I feel about math. Like, math never spoke to me. I'm more of a language, uh, you know, speech and writing kind of guy. And and I know it's a little reductive to to say, but it just like it just never got to me. Like, I just didn't give a shit. And like, I found it so boring and fucking unnecessary. Like, listen, yes, I know I'm gonna how much uh, I know how much I get paid. Uh, I know how much uh, I'm not gonna have after I pay my bills, and after that, it's like, hey, let's just uh, do the thing, and that's it. That's the kind of math that I need in my life. It's an everyday kind of math. Like I, I've never shown up to a situation where I'm like, I believe this is a job for algebra. When? Fuck off. Anyways, boring. I understand boring and annoying. <laughs> Oh no! You got one. You have, you have one of those special teachers. Like I don't. Why? Why are? Why? Oh why? Do we have people who are so goddamn entitled to their goddamn professions? Where they're like walking around there. Bill Troy, I am the shit. You dickhead, man. Why? Do, why? It's so unnecessary. Why do people do this? Like, life is hard enough, guys. Come on, get it together. Yep, the rule, you know what? That is 100%. That is so fucking true. It is really the rule of three. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't think about it that way, but what, like, I, I understand what you're saying, because like, that's the thing. That's the thing. Uh, oh yeah, um, I am playing a game that is called, uh, oh, let me, let's see the, yeah, there it is, the title, it's called Dorf Romantic, I, I like saying it with a Fra French accent, because I'm cute like that, it's like, Dorf Romantique, uh, this is a, a bit of a puzzler, I mean, puzzler, it's, it's as deep as uh, you want it to be, but also as shallow as you need it to be, I mean, really just, you know, you place down tiles and, Try to get us. Uh, there's like a um, well, you almost can't see it. Wait, uh, no, no, of course you can't. Fuck it. Wait, wait. Uh, if I remove the camera, oh, wait. If I remove the camera, yeah. If I, what about? Uh, wait, wait, wait. No, on you. This. 
All right, so you see it like at the top on uh, on the top right. There's like a there's like missions that you can fill out just by placing down your tiles, and then you get like a high score. And like the entire point of the game is just to place down your tiles perfectly as perfectly as you can. Um, you know, edges that match edges, whenever or whatever adjacent placing or whatever, and you get points and points, and you just want to get the high the highest um, score possible. Which is, uh, you know, that's, uh, I don't know, mine was what? I'm. Right, so the leaderboard, uh, you can't see it right now. Uh, let's remove my camera. In the chat. Well, no, not you. Uh, schedule, that's the one. Yeah, so that's my high sc highest score is 21,400. And on the leaderboard of the entire goddamn fucking planet, I am. 24,913th place, but you know what? At least I'm not 30th thousandth, so I call that a win. <laughs> yeah, 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 it'll be like that. Well, that's a German title. What's the, what does well, I guess romantic means romantic, but dwarf, I don't know what dwarf is. I feel like it's uh, like Dorf is like the name of like a, a bad guy in some bad movie. Oh, for, oh dude, it's real. Little town romantic. Dorf, little town. Shit. That's really cool. Oh, dude. I don't know. I don't know why, but that like makes me happy to know that, that that's what that means. Is oh yeah. Is it? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, okay. I remember like I started playing this when it first came out on the, and it was um because it's actually officially actually released now. But I, I was playing the uh, not the beta the, you know right before uh, early access. That's what it, uh, on on Steam, the early access. And I like I really like hooked. Uh, I, you know, it just got me this game. Um, I started playing it uh, since the start, uh, when it first came out, uh, I think it was beginning of last year, I feel like it was beginning of last year, really, really fun game, um, and I knew it was like a, a little, like, a little group, it's really fun, like, there's a lot of good, small, interesting games that come out of, like, groups of students that are just graduating uh, lately, and it's, it's just great, it's, you know, like we get bombarded with like AAA type of games all the all the time, and it's like, dude, we don't need this shit. We just need interesting stuff. Thanks, though. So. I, I really, I, I mean, like, I, I mean, like, in terms of like, is a game hard? No. It is definitely interesting. Um, I've, I've gifted this game a couple of times because I really, really enjoy it. Um, but I, well, you know, at the same time, understand it's not for everybody either. In terms of like, you know, the, like there's only so much things that you can think about strategically or whatever. But there's there, there's any, there's a lot for any type of. Um, any level um level of skill a uh, skill player oh my god i am forgetting english i need to reboot my server this brain i have been drinking all day it uh, i've been celebrating my birthday so i should have probably mentioned that i uh, i have been i am very under the uh, influence of the good stuff so <laughs> Well, you know what? They deserve it. I honestly, if I had a price to give give out to that to that uh, game dev studio, I would. They were fucking. I love it. this game is excellent. Like I, like I said, I've gifted it a few times. I recommend it. And you ask me, hey, should I buy it? Yeah, it's very inexpensive, and you will be surprised as how many hours you're actually gonna lose into it, because it's just it's pretty as fuck. The sound design is fucking great. Uh, you know, uh, and it's just satisfying to perf uh, perfectly place a, a tile. Mm. You're like, oh yes, clickety click. That's the best. So, <laughs> I 
Yep. I have not visited Europe um, and I am actually it's uh, uh, <laughs> I'm actually I'm going to Europe so you're new on the channel so you haven't followed the saga of Fernando trying to get his fucking passport since fucking April uh, it's been a fucking pain in the ass um, I'm still waiting for the thing um, technically it's it's in the works so I'm waiting for my passport so I can actually try I'm actually going to France uh, I'm supposed to go to France uh, if everything goes according to plan I'm supposed to leave on the 6th of August uh, and I'm gonna go to France to um, uh, you know uh, uh, go meet someone very special <laughs> um, stop girl you know who you are <laughs> um, so I've never, I've never, no, I've never been to to Europe, and this is gonna be my first first experience, and I'm very, very curious as to how that, uh, how that's gonna go. Um, my friend over there, she, I mean, she's actually never been outside of like Europe. Uh, she's like afraid of planes and stuff like that. So like, she's, there's only so many places that she's been, but in Europe or whatever. And I, I believe she's been to Germany. I'm not sure. I have like, I'm kind of having a blanking here, but she does speak. Uh, she uh, grew up uh, learning German, so that would be like uh, for uh, first of all, like uh, for me, I would be very interested to to visit that uh, that region for sure. Just uh, just for the ar architecture alone. Um, I know I don't look like an architecture type of a uh, uh, connoisseur, but actually, like I really like. Um, uh, on my Instagram, like I, 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 I take a lot of, uh, I do photography, black and white and stuff, and like I love angles and, and stuff like buildings and shit like that really interests me, especially like imposing architecture is really, really cool, especially at nighttime. Um, so no, I've never been to Europe, but I'm going to go and I get my first taste and I think it's going to be the first of uh, many, many visits. And yeah, Germany, definitely one of the, the, the spots I'd like to visit for sure. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, look, I understand. Like a uh, uh, a fear of heights, it's a very, very real thing, and uh, I'm actually like. Uh, like I'm, I'm like not la I'm not laughing like I'm just like I've, I find it interesting because like and, and ironic because like I have a fear that not a lot of people have it's like I'm actually afraid of knives um, knives really like make me nervous uh, some shit happened to me when I was uh, uh, in my teens or whatever but uh, so knives make me very nervous so I understand when somebody's like I can relate to this you know something that uh, you know because it's it might seem irrational like you know like oh you're afraid of heights but like so how do you if you live on the second floor how the fuck like are you afraid of living on the second floor no stupid it's like if i'm next to an edge and i look down like it's really fucked up thinking about heights makes me feel unsafe like that's that's what i mean so like me like knives make me feel unsafe it's like that's what i totally understand it's like um but uh, but so you uh, okay but so you the, the cool thing about europe though is like you can still like there's so many interesting countries all around that you can still like at least get out of your own country but yeah you've never left europe um it, it okay 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 so if you had what's your dream what's your dream uh v country that you would visit if you weren't afraid of planes like what, what? What's the move? Me personally, well, I'm not afraid of planes, but like, like my, I'm always like, ah, oh, like I'd love to go to Japan. That's like one of my dream dream trips, kind of thing. Yes, that's a great one. Fucking New Zealand, and 
fuck me up with some guided tours through the Shire because I want to see all of the Lord of the Rings shit. For sure. At least tell me you're going to visit the, the, the Lord of the Rings spots because, I mean, come on, like, I mean, why wouldn't you? It's right there. It's right there. <laughs> I, 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 it would be... I would be, uh, I can't, like, I, I love those movies, and it's like, with my best friend, it's like, one. Of, it's our trilogy as, as best friends, and if I went to New Zealand and I didn't go see The Shire or some shit like that, I, I feel like I would die inside a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> Yes, good old fashioned Hobbiton visit. I would probably, <laughs> I would probably dress up as a Hobbit if I visited New Zealand, like, and if I went on tour, and I'm sure that I would not be alone. Also, <laughs> like, I like uh, just a reminder to myself out loud and uh, recording it online forever and ever is uh, that my girlfriend uh, did a photo shoot of herself as a sexy hobbit when we first started talking and she sent me that as a gift. So uh, you could say that I, I am into hobbits. <laughs> <laughs> But um, why did you do? Do you know why your teacher told you to go to Sweden instead of Vancouver? Like I don't. I mean, I'm pretty sure that Vancouver is pretty. Vancouver is fucking interesting, though, for real. And I know like a lot of people in Canada like usually end up going to Vancouver just to check it out, like it's a good scene for different things. Um, but I wonder why your teacher told you to go to Sweden instead. Is it like a money thing, or it's like I don't know. Maybe maybe it's like. Sweden is more relevant to the program that you're in. Well, just curious. Yeah, this uh, this uh, the the um, the Lord of the Rings, the new thing, the Rings of Power that's coming out. It's uh, it's not looking great. Not a lot of people are uh, super enthu enthused about seeing it. it. It doesn't look right, and I happen to agree with that. Um, I don't know, but I mean, and this is just for me seeing characters. I'm, I haven't really like, I you know, the trailer. This is like a teaser trailer or whatever, and like you can't really see that much or whatever. But like, I hope the scenery. Because like the thing is, like in the timeline, from what I understand, it's obviously in way in the past. Like, the movies were green. Like, you know, the, all the places are beautiful and uh, like either they're like super lush or whatever. Like the creepy shit is super, super creepy. And I hope that that's going to translate into this, uh, this story. And I feel like there's a lot of like, you know, like very different magical type of shit that's supposed to look a certain way. And New Zealand is like that naturally. So that would be, you know, I hope that they nail that look. But I don't know, like, a lot of people aren't, like, very, uh, hopeful about it, but I'm still gonna watch it. I'm a goddamn nerd about it, so. Oh, uh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, okay, so, you, I mean, so your teacher's, like, trying to, like, put you on a path where, you know, you can, you have better chances of, like, getting jobs and shit like that and yeah I, I get it like it would be really cool to like well I mean it depends like if, if that's what you're into and like that's what you really want you know like if you want to travel like then like fuck you teacher I'm gonna go, go travel but you know if it depends you know it really depends on, on uh, how you want to end up at or where where you want to end up at Yeah, yeah. It's weird. I, I don't know the, the, the change. I mean, at the end of the day, like, 
it, it really you know it really sucks that the dude's not around because it would be awesome to have the the uh, tolkien's actual take on these things obviously that's like a goddamn pipe dream it's fucking insane that i'm even thinking about it but it, it would be amazing if they would have been able to console that dude and that he would have been okay with like you know it's this and it, it's supposed to have like and, and i feel like those movies did pretty well like uh, i mean i never okay. Fucking caution, I did not read the books. I, I Do I have them in a box over there in the back or behind the closet? Yes, I do. Will I read them? Maybe if I retire. Assuming I retire eventually, then I'll probably read Lord of the Rings. But until then, the movies are my Bible. And I feel like those movies have a certain charm. A certain specific charm that I hope they sort of maintain like obviously there's not the same people it's not the same story but it would be cool if the universe kind of holds that little you know but Abby dear friend yes of course if I go to New Zealand, I there's no way that I could go there without you, Abby. I am your Sam, and you are my Frodo, as I am your Frodo to your Sam. <laughs> and now that's recorded uh, on the internet forever and ever. Are you happy, Abby? I bet you are. And actually, we've, we're due. We're supposed to rewatch the trilogy together. We're supposed to even add your boyfriend to the thing so he can watch us cry together. I know I'm a bad person for not reading the books. Well, one of the one of the reasons I I never read the books is because like one of the things to say, wow, they really made the movies very dynamic, very interesting, very uh you know action or whatever. Because the books are actually just very slow, so <laughs> that didn't help the reviews. But I will eventually get around reading them because I am a nerd that likes knowing things and being like, well, of course. That wasn't in the book. I am that asshole as well, but uh, <laughs> I'm not. They're thick, bro. They're really thick. There's like three of them. <laughs> oh, Abby. Yes. Don't go where I can't follow. That I I, I remember, man. That shit, man. <laughs> Abby, I remember we cried, and you know. It's just one of those moments, like, we really bonded over that movie, and, like, damn. <laughs> it's great. It's good. Yeah, Braybor, uh, yeah, well, Abby and I, um, she, she's my best friend, and she's also, um, <laughs> we're roommates, but technically, it's her apartment, and I pay, I pay, uh, an amount for the room that, everything that I own, everything that I am, is within this room that you see, this is all me, <laughs> beyond that door, right there, the, the curtain, that's the door, uh, that's, her domain. So, <laughs> yeah, we're roommates, and I live in a room. That's it. <laughs> yes, that that is one of the best fucking lines of that movie. And there are so many good lines in that movie. Oh. Yes, and... and <laughs> hey, Abby, you're... <laughs> Abby, you remember the first time that you you saw Strider, uh, you know, the king, Aragorn, for the first time? Do you remember, you remember what you said to me? <laughs> you know, while he was trying to uh, heal Frodo's wound? Oh man, living with four people, that reminds me of living with my parents a couple years back. <laughs> living with my, my sister, my dad, my mom, and myself, and I used to share a room with my mom. That's 
I don't think I've told my girlfriend that. That's gonna be oh man, she's gonna have questions for me. She's gonna be like, Mais qu'est-ce que tu veux dire que that? <laughs> she's gonna freak out in French and she's like, what do you mean you were sharing a room with your mother? And I'll be like, I'm sorry, I was a loser for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Abby. Abby sees Strider, and she's like, "This motherfucker hot." And she's like, "Just keep on droning." She's like, "This guy's hot." This, and then, like you know, Frodo gets stabbed by one of the Nazgul. He gets stabbed, and Aragorn Strider at the time he shows up, and like he's like chewing some leaves, and, like, and he like puts it in the wound, a wound uh, in Frodo's wound, and. Abby's right next to me, and and she's like, and she's just like very quiet. She's like, it's like, I let him spit in my wound. No, no chill. Like <laughs> this fucking woman, <laughs> Strider, please spit in my wound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the cat's out of the bag. <laughs> I used to share a room with my mother. I was, um, wait, what, what was that? That was like six years, uh, so it was like six years ago about, and that was uh, for about a year, I think, that I was there. My God, what a life, what a life. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure Flora will come to terms with that. She's got no problem with it. Uh, uh, she'll judge me, she'll laugh at me for uh, sure. But uh, I think uh, she's very understanding. She's nice like that. Um, anime. Well, I know for a fact that uh, Abby uh, does not watch anime and she probably would make fun of me for watching anime, but I watch anime. I don't know if you can tell. I have a, uh, whoop, how do, look at that. I'm a Naruto bitch, so I watch anime. What do you watch? If you tell me Attack on Titan, I get it. That's a good one. If you tell me Berserk, that's a good one too. If you tell me you like Shaman King, but you like the older version and not the Netflix version, because it's like too fast, it's kind of too weird, even though it's closer to the manga, I watch anime. <laughs> oh, Abby, you were asked to do the otaku show? The, that's on the 23rd, I think? You're doing the otaku show? Okay, all right, okay. So you need material for the Otaku show, and you, I uh, I got, at, dude, I'm surprised you didn't ask me already. I, I am the anime guy, like, like I know things. What is wrong with you? Oh, okay, they wanna, okay. Um, okay, so basics, your best friend who lives with you has a an anime tattoo to begin with. Uh, it's one of the most mainstream, well, now, uh, at the time when I started watching it, it wasn't mainstream, then it became mainstream, but, like, it's, um, like, me having this tattoo, it's almost like having, like, it's as close as having the Nike sign on my arm, in terms of anime, and how it's, like, known. So... <laughs> But yeah, no, if you need anime shit, like, there's so, there's so much shit. It, and there's, like, a lot of it that's, like, very accessible in terms of, like, you know, a lot of, a lot of shows have actually, like, even though, like, the shows that I watched in the 90s are sort of still relevant today because either, like, they've done reboots and stuff like that, whatever, so... The, the thing is, like, it's, it's, it's a, like... There's good, there's, there's a lot of things to make fun of. 
That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I'd love it. And and like I know the crowd that you're gonna be playing to, so like I definitely will have a. Uh... Yeah, I'm down. It's my shit. Five. Six. Um, hey Abby, that's an interesting choice of words though. I'm gonna be drilling you. Yikes. <laughs> Somebody's hanging out with her boyfriend. <laughs> uh, uh oh. Well, a well, a well. Oh man, I think this stuff just kicked in, so I'm. <laughs> Je suis tired. And uh, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna call it. I'm calling it. Um, I'd like uh, to uh, right away be uh, very thankful and nice and be like, hey man. What is that? Uh. I'm sorry. Uh. Je suis le mort. I am a little tired. And that's uh, French for I'm tired, man. I'm tired, man. I know it's uh, I know super late where you're at in Germany, but I am an old man and I eat my sleep. Unfortunately, he said to everyone. That's, that's a nice tune. That's a nice, uh, nice moment. Great work. Thanks so much. Uh, what, is my camera still on me? Oh, bonjour. Hola. Um, um, uh, das uh, ich uh, mein um, Gesicht Gesicht um, uh, um, um Stein um Stein or Stein um Stein or you know stuff like that. But thanks for watching. I appreciate you. I like the, the. I really enjoyed the follow. Scared the shit out of me because of the alert. Because I was like, anyways, thank you for uh, for. Uh, uh, it was nice uh, meeting you. It was nice talking to you and finding out a little bit about uh, German uh, German uh, loans and student stuff. So, uh, hope I see you again. Uh, have a good uh, rest of the night, Abby. Thanks so much for uh, being a great uh, great landlord and. Uh, for showing up tonight and uh, honestly giving me a really really good day for my birthday i appreciate you you know i love you to death and that's uh, that's it that's it that's it we're gonna call it we're gonna say bye bye and until next time wow this was a good one i might just cry myself to sleep <laughs> all right that's it later crispies